Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of YouTube Play StarCraft 2. Today we're going to be having a look at uh, a playstyle suggested by this user. Um, and it's going to be for PvP. Um, sentry Stalker into two Stalker Sentry. Proxy Gate as a third. Robo into... What did it say? Well, some other stuff. I think we played Colossi Disruptor. Nice. So, that's what we're gonna be doing. Sentry Stalker opener. You know, he didn't say anything about the position of my first or of my second pylon. So, my second pylon is gonna be proxied. Actually, if I'm gonna proxy a third gate, I probably shouldn't do that. Probably should just pretend to play standard. So that's what we'll do instead. So we're playing against Cougar, who is a, uh, a Russian Prolos player. I think we played him a couple of times in this series already. Might have played him once or twice in uh, Road to Rank 1 as well. Because I tend to record my videos in the morning. And he wakes up earlier than, than the competition. Alright, so I guess we'll proxy a fourth or third pylon. I think a fourth pylon will be proxy. I kind of want to send out a worker at some point. Will he realize that I'm not coming back home? No, okay, he won't realize because he's going here to scout, which is nice. Um, he's gonna build a pylon, isn't he? Little prick. I actually want him to see my sentry because who the hell plays three gate from a sentry opener? Very uncommon. Very, very uncommon. So we're gonna patrol work over here. Now, the comment only spoke about a single sentry as a follow up, which I think is weird. So I'm gonna add one more stalker as well. I hope he'll forgive me. So then I have optimal usage of all my gates, you know? Okay, he's gonna come with perhaps a decent amount of stalkers. So we got an expo. Okay, we have three stalkers and a sentry. So, we get one of these. This was a good fight for us. I think we killed three stalkers and lost only a single one. So, we're gonna put some pressure on my, our opponent now. With the three gate. With the nexus we have. And then we get a robo behind this. That was the plan. The OG plan. And we're gonna stick to that. Don't it always seem to go? If you don't know what you've got till it's gone. A big paradise. A big paradise. Good in the parking lot. I think he's in a little bit of trouble. I say a, big, a bit of trouble, I think he's freaking dead. That went relatively well. We had more workers. Our early game was just too good for him. We killed so much. Nice. Good start. Very well done here. Good job, my. Uh, I think the commenter was Vietnamese, so my Vietnamese friend. Giving me actual good builds to play with for once in my life. That's real nice. I'm gonna save this paper and use it later for Road to Rank 1 as well. Alright, let's head into the next game. I don't think you guys wanna see the, the search time. As it's early in the morning, search times are pretty long. See you soon. Alright, we're here with a Terran. 
the plan against Terran was, let me read, core first, Colossus drop, blink plus one, going to Colossus Archon, that's how I wrote it down on my paper if it's incorrect, that's tough luck. This is how I perceived uh, what the commenter wanted, so that's what we're going to be doing. With the good luck I found you the double good luck from our opponent. See, some quick threats. Nice. Ah, oh, this guy. Uh, he was trick. He, he was trying to type kill me. You see that? What a guy. Unfortunate. <laughs> Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Is he gonna finish it, really? I think he might be able to as well, which scares me. Nah, carry it. You can suck it actually. I'm not gonna stand there and defend it like some loser. Like everything's gonna be so late for him anyway that I don't even care. I should have sent him back immediately. He actually cancelled. Yeah, so I thought. He might play CC first now. No, we're still playing four first. That was kind of lucky for me, but. Honestly, this wouldn't have worked anyway because I'm so much better than my opponents. The nice thing is that this guy probably does this a lot, which means he's probably going to be a lot worse in a macro game than most other people. In before I lose. Core first Colossus. Colossus drop, right? I think he's had two adapts. Yeah. This guy will be fine with a Salker as well. No, I actually did say to adapt. I'm gonna get an adapt after this. I'll feel bad for the commenter. He gave me such good builds. This guy actually gave me good builds. You know, no pretending there. Because a lot of people are pretending in the comments, you know, pretending that they have the next big thing and then it just sucks. But this guy, there was no pretending whatsoever. The Foo Fighters did not write a song about him. Except this bunker is a little bit yikesy, if you ask me. <sighs> what if I say you're not like the others? Um, I actually had pretty clear instructions on what to do when as well, I remember now. Um, I think after my fourth guess, I'm supposed to build the robo bay. Not before, not after. Which is weird, because ideally I'd build it right now. Oh wait, what am I doing? Okay, we actually have a CC. That's nice to know. Then I get a prism. So you get like robo bay prism and then you get your extra gases. Because now th this build doesn't flow quite nicely, but I mean... Just doing what I'm told, boys. Just doing what I'm told. Don't forget the the wisdom. If if I win, it's despite you guys, and if I lose, it's because of you guys. That's the important, the most important thing to remember in this series. Do you want another? Nah, you can suck it. I think there's a mine there somewhere. What do we do? Forge plus one, third base? Oh, we were supposed to start uh, thermal lens as well. What if 
believe I say you're not making it. Oh crap, I didn't actually think he was going to have stim yet. So I recall so I can go into the cool stuff a lot quicker. I'm going to the natural. It's not a great map for Colossus drop honestly. There's not a lot of dead space around the bases. That's okay. What if I say you're not like the others? So ideally I'd have prism speed with this, but I mean this will also have to do. He's not actually here, is he? I think we're winning. When I say I think we're winning, I mean I know we're winning for a fact. He's completely dead. It's an interesting move. Oh wow, I actually lost my prison. That's not that good. Adios Luolis. So we win another game. We immediately search our what is this? Our third game. Alright, it's so gonna be a quick day for me like this. That's pretty nice. Quick 5.5 .5 player, minus eight for him. I'm just gonna finish my placement matches today finally. And then uh, we'll see what MMR we are, what rank we would be if we were in Grandmaster. So that should be fun. Alright, see you in the third game. Oh, Think the hive is a trick. Trick, trick, trick. Oh, oh, eat me out. I have no clue what's happening here, boys. Trick, trick, trick. Let's see if we can take him down with that same builder we did to the first guy. I think we might be able to. Um, I actually kind of like this build. So th the main thing here is the mind game that Sentry Stalker is um, gonna lead into a standard macro game so you're very safe in the early game because you're getting a lot of units you have great counter attack potential i think if our opponent just builds a battery and stays defensive they're in a really good spot though um, especially if they see the nexus timing any kind of scout by them will also do uh, whether that be with a hallucination or a, uh, with an oracle perhaps they can die because you do have fast three gate so that might be annoying uh, but yeah, Sentry Scout would be absolutely huge for them. I mean, you're just spending so much money on units, gateways and things that aren't economy that I think you're going to be in a pretty poor economical position. But the funny thing always with 3Gate is that if you really think about it, um, the pricing is similar to having a battery, you know? It's only, sure, you need to build a pylon, but I mean, you need pylons anyway, so that's fine. So really, all you're investing is... 50 extra minerals so if your opponent builds a defensive battery it kind of was okay for you you know 
if he didn't invest too much in unit and didn't cut too much eco. So that's why three gate builds usually are kind of good because a lot of the time they'll get one two batteries and <coughs> actually gonna be in a fine spot. The only annoying thing is if they cut workers or they cut units, get more workers, and then uh, defend with batteries because batteries are better than units. Like you rather have an extra battery than an extra stalker. Okay, we don't see a second pylon here. No, we do. I lied. That's cool. Did I tell him good luck yet? That's an exclamation mark. Just didn't show. My keyboard isn't working. There's lag. Lots of excuses already. Right for the picking. I used to practice a lot with Lara Bas in Wings of Liberty actually. He was quite good back then. I think he's a little worse now comparatively. I haven't spoken, haven't spoken with him in years. I shouldn't yawn and speak, that's disgusting. So he sees the sentry once again. It's actually nice when they see the sentry in this case. Um, I think I'm gonna do a slight variation of it. So we can kind of keep a similar idea, but just do the nexus before the third gate. I think it flows nicer. Um, Maybe no. I misplaced my nexus. Should we cancel? We really should cancel. I built my two sentries first though. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, it's always painful when you fight out that you're an idiot. Oh, I'm a double idiot. Oh no, I'm a triple idiot. Could have gone all over us actually. And we haven't actually rebuilt the Nexus yet. Uh, and it might be the worst thing of all is that it might be Stargate. Yeah. So what do we do? So that makes 3 oh. I think this is going to be the best episode of YouTube Play StarCraft 2. Honestly. We're just going to get win after win after win. We're going to finish our placements in one, one time. I'm not quite sure why I have to redo my placements every single time, but might have to do something with the fact that this account might be used by more than one person. I think someone is leaving League for me, which is very annoying. It's the way of the world. A lot of us. All right. I see you boys in uh, game number four, and we'll see where we'll place. What our MMR will be. How exciting! All right. We're playing against Larconan, a Terran player that I've never heard of. So once again, Colossi drop. No PVZ today. Sad. Usually I always play at least one game against the Russian Zerg. I think the the Basse, or Basset, I think he's called. It also has a YouTube channel in Russian. So if you are a Russian viewer of mine, you're wondering, hey, is there any Russian pro players who could talk to me in my own language? I think he's called Basset Starcraft or something like that. Good YouTube channel as well, if you speak Russian. If you don't speak Russian, then, well... I'm not sure how much you love StarCraft, but you could also potentially watch that. Um, but yeah, they're not here. Usually like him and B, they always are up early, these guys. And Russians, they, they wake up early. They know that's when the stuff gets done, you know? They run for two hours. 
do 300 push-ups. Drink half a liter of vodka. Get some potatoes from the land. Bam. Russian scene actually is getting a lot better in Starcraft these days as well. Like they have uh, quite a lot of depth in their scene. There's a lot of players that are, you know, not top level, but are pretty close to the top level. Like the, the rank 40s, the rank 35s in Grandmaster, you know? Like these guys that you should win against, but if possible, you'd rather not play them in a tournament. You know what I mean? There's a decent chance you might lose. Like these guys, they know how to play the game. Problem for them is I know how to play the game a little bit better. I love my own jokes. Um, okay, so we play adapt, adapt this time. Then go into robo, straight prism. Um, I'm not gonna chrono my second adapt. Instead, focusing really hard on. Extra pro production. Very fast robotic facility, as you can see. I actually played a build like this for a very long time without the Colossite drop part, but a build just like this. I want something just like this. I'm gonna take two guys out of gas because my, like, oh my god, what the hell? I played the Reaper Marine Marine. That is really wild. So yeah, that is reactive really then. <laughs> this something cured it a couple of times recently. I think he started it. Trendsetter in it. So the reason I pull out of gas is because I want slightly more minerals. Because I'm only allowed to build the Robo Bay after I take gas 3 and 4. Which is the worst part of this build for me. But still, you know, fair play. Fair play to the fella who made it. Rubbing with the dude with the cello. Usually I'd let that finish, but I don't think I can. Okay, yeah, we actually managed to make this look pretty, pretty good now. So the pulling out of gas actually makes it that the build flows nicely. I like it. I actually don't mind this build at all. This is actually a build that is that is playable. We've seen it played before. Um, Zest played it for a very long time. Uh, SOS has been playing it. Not as much recently, but he has been. Gosh! Oh, leave me alone, you useless prick. It's gonna be mine, isn't it? Two marines in there? What the hell is this? Kill two of those. Um, our prism got pushed back though, which is slightly annoying, if anything. <sighs> so, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep following the build order. I, 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 I do want to try, you know, but in my mind, Colossi Drop is not very bright at the moment. I mean, he has a Viking already, what's gonna happen, you know? 
plus one, you get bling. I got one cannon over here, I'm very afraid. Our map vision with this build is always kind of crappy. They're selling postcards on the hanging. Oh, we have range action. Pretty decent map vision all around now. Um, the only dead spot is over here, so it's the only place he can currently drop without me noticing. There's a tank. There's two tanks, I wasn't aware of that. I haven't seen any of his medevacs yet though, so I'm gonna keep my stalkers over there. Yeah, I'm right. Oh, you see that? Two medevacs coming in the top. That's complete. We're gonna kill both of them with this jumping. Here it is. See you. <laughs> nice. This was very good. I actually kind of enjoyed this. Alright, plus 10 puts us at 6157. That's pretty decent MMR. Um, if we would translate that to ladder rank, we can just go to the Grandmaster. Division 6157 it's at. So that would put us around rank 57. Rank 57, exactly. Just above Zugulian. So you guys have officially better knowledge than Zugulian. And Aquaron. Minato, Milky Cow, around there. Ah, that's not bad. Good job, team. I'm very proud of us so far. Um, we're not done yet. I think we still can climb a little bit, depending a bit on what builds I get in the future, but I'm pretty happy with this. Good stuff. All right, it's gonna be it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below any future uh, play styles or things that you want me to play. Just put it down below and I'll have a look at it and we're all gonna be all right. All right, thanks all for watching. Bye-bye.